Caitlin Clark, the remarkable NCAA basketball sensation whose talent has captivated fans nationwide, recently made headlines once again upon her selection as the first overall pick in the 2024 WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever. However, the excitement surrounding her professional debut was quickly overshadowed by the stark reality of pay disparity in women's basketball. Spatrack, a renowned sports contract tracking website, revealed that Clark, at a mere 22 years old, is poised to sign a contract with a fever totaling $338,056 over four years. Her rookie season salary of $76,535 has raised eyebrows, especially when compared to the astronomical figures earned by her male counterparts in the NBA. For instance, Victor Wambanyama, the first pick in the previous year's NBA draft, secured a staggering $55 million deal with the San Antonio Spurs, pocketing over $12 million in his inaugural season alone. Outraged fans took to social media platforms to express their discontent, highlighting the stark incongruity between Clark's undeniable talent and her relatively modest compensation. Some lamented the irony of the greatest player in college basketball history, receiving what equates to an entry-level salary, while others called for equitable treatment of female athletes in the realm of professional sports. Nevertheless, amidst the fervor surrounding Clark's WNBA salary, many pointed out the substantial income she stands to gain from lucrative endorsement deals. With partnerships with major brands like Nike, State Farm, Gatorade, Buick, H&R Block, and Bose, Clark's estimated annual earnings from endorsements surpass $3 million, further underscoring the stark contrast between her on-court compensation and off-court earning potential. Even prominent figures like Russell Wilson chimed in, advocating for higher salaries for Clark and her WNBA peers, emphasizing the deserving nature of their contributions to the sport. Wilson's sentiment resonated with many, reflecting a growing consensus on the need for gender parity in professional athletics. Clark's remarkable achievements during her tenure as point guard for the University of Iowa's Hawkeyes serve as a testament to her undeniable skill and impact on the game. Holding both the NCAA's all-time scoring and assist records for both men and women, Clark's influence extends beyond the court, as evidenced by the significant increase in viewership for NCAA women's basketball during her tenure. The final championship game between Iowa and South Carolina which drew 24 million viewers, surpassed its male counterpart by millions, marking a historic milestone for women's collegiate athletics. Despite the WNBA's annual revenue of $60 million for media rights and licensing deals, it pales in comparison to the staggering valuations of NBA franchises, with some exceeding $6 billion. The stark contrast between the two leagues' financial landscapes underscores the systemic issues contributing to the wage gap in professional basketball. As discussions surrounding gender equity in sports continue to gain traction, Clark's journey serves as a poignant reminder of the ongoing struggle for fair compensation and recognition for female athletes in the world of professional sports.